Welcome to our poster session for this Peralta Equity Conference titled Establishing Course Quality Standards to Support Equitable and Learner-Centered Experiences at the Colorado Community College System. Our presenters represent members of the Base Standards Work Group of the Colorado Online Learning Design Subcommittee. We are comprised of faculty, e-learning directors, learning design, academic excellence, quality assurance, and professional development staff across four of our colleges plus the system office. This poster session is about the Colorado Community College System Standards for Online Course Quality, with a particular focus on standards supporting equitable and learner-centered experiences. Quality Matters, or QM, was the foundation for our QM Plus standards. However, the Peralta Online Equity Rubric was another important source that informed these standards and subsequent tools in the system, particularly the Healthy Course Checklist and the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Checklist. We will overview the rationale for incorporating DEI into the CCCS QM Plus standards. We'll describe how external models influence those additional design standards and introduce steps we took to implement these standards across the system. For the transition to Colorado Online, the Learning Design Subcommittee Base Standards Work Group was charged to develop base course quality standards for online courses. Other than Quality Matters, or QM, we reviewed learner center models, including the Universal Design for Learning Framework, UDL, and the Peralta Online Equity Rubric. We also reviewed SUNY OSCA, California Virtual Campus Online Education Initiative Course Design Rubric, and college-specific rubrics that were typically based on QM, among others. We performed a crosswalk of QM to UDL framework checkpoints to identify gaps in supporting equitable learner experiences. We prior Prioritized frameworks addressing learner equity due to the emphasis in the initial Colorado Online White Paper in 2020 that the consortial model would increase equitable access and web accessibility of online learning. This emphasis was informed by awareness of our Colorado Community College learner demographics, including both rural and metro learners. First generation learners, which are nearly half of our students, a large percentage of Pell eligible students, a wide range of ages, of our students and an increasing percentage of students of color. Also note that learners identifying disabilities and working with disability access services departments are not called out in a CCCS data book, but the National Center for Education Statistics reports that a little over 19% of undergraduate students have disabilities, yet the majority of learners with disabilities do not inform the college. The rates of students actually working with individual college disability and accessibility departments is much lower. One rate reported by a specific Colorado Community College was only 6.1% of learners actively collaborating with the College Accessibility Office. Since our student population is diverse on many levels, we needed to ensure that our online course standards reflected this diversity as well. The CCS online course quality standards are referred to as QM plus because after our review of various rubrics and frameworks, we decide to set the quality matters sixth edition as our foundation and expand the set of standards to address gaps we found through resources that included UDL and the Peralta online equity rubric, which helped us identify best practices for elevating diversity, equity, and inclusion design principles in online courses. Each influence adds an important perspective. The QM rubric gives us essential concepts, including measurable objectives, alignment, course structure, policies and resources, accessibility, and usability. DEI resources, including the Peralta online equity rubric, emphasize representation of voices and diverse learner characteristics, pathways to equitable outcomes, and ways to create community and belonging. The Universal Design for Learning Framework offers checkpoints related to providing learners with options, concept connections, resources to support executive functioning, and expanded strategies for accessibility support. After developing the full set of QM Plus standards to include DEI and learner-centered considerations, we realized we needed to condense the standards into a more usable structure. For usability then, we created a simplified model for the Colorado Online Base Course Standards. The Healthy Course Checklist groups the QM Plus standards into six core criteria, 
while elevating the role of DEI strategies as a dedicated criterion for online course design that supports positive learner experiences in online courses. Criterion five of the Healthy Course Checklist offers strategies pertaining to diversity, equity, and inclusion. The description of this criterion includes diverse representation in the design, encourages learners to share their own diverse identities, encourages UDL principles, and incorporates open educational resources and zero textbook cost materials if that's possible. The influence of Peralta online equity rubric can be made clear by aligning particular equity criterion to the elements of the DEI criterion within the healthy course checklist. The first strategy of the DEI criterion aligns to E5 of the Peralta rubric, advocating for broad diversity within images and other representations. The second strategy of the DEI criterion aligns to E4 of the Peralta rubric, speaking to the need to demonstrate how diversity is valued. While the third strategy aligns to the efforts our work group made to carefully crosswalk the QM standards to the checkpoints of UDL framework, there's also synergy with Peralta E3, which expresses the value of UDL for meeting the needs of diverse learners. Within a very specific QM plus standard as well, it is possible to recognize the influence of the same Peralta rubric criteria. QM plus standard 4.5 A plus, advocating for student choice in how they engage with learning materials, aligns back to Peralta E3 and the Universal Design for Learning framework. QM plus standard 4.5 C plus, elevating the value of incorporating diverse perspectives and historically marginalized voices in learning materials aligns to Peralta E5. So does QM plus standard 4.5 D plus, which calls attention to how learning materials can perpetuate or disrupt harmful stereotypes and biases. These specific QM plus standards are not identified at this granular level in the simplified healthy course checklist, but these specific strategies are called out in the DEI checklist that our stakeholders can access from the healthy course checklist for a deeper dive. The impact of our QM plus online course standards and simplified healthy course checklist can be recognized in online course designs built according to those criteria, including the DEI criterion. In a recently developed Introduction to Early Childhood Education course, for instance, the design team carefully selected design strategies to build open communication and class community, as well as to provide options for learners in many places. The design team sought to support learner progress and executive functioning through templates and project checkpoints, and choices within visual design elements, learning materials, and learning activities promote representation of diverse learner backgrounds and encourage learners in the class community to make connections to their own diverse experiences and backgrounds. Thus, influencing models such as the Peralta Online Equity Rubric has clear positive impact on our learners engaging in Colorado online courses. To review, our specific resources we currently have to help designers and instructors build their best courses include the Healthy Course Checklist tool, which we have expounded upon in a special course in our learning management system called Introduction to the Healthy Course Checklist, and the companion resource for Criterion 5, which is the DEI checklist. It is similar to a QM checklist in that it lists very specific elements of a course, notes whether the criterion is met or not met, and then has room for comments by a reviewer. We plan to continue to encourage use of these resources through ongoing professional development. These are some steps we have taken to support implementation of the Healthy Course Checklist across our community college system. We made the Healthy Course Checklist a QM Plus guidebook and an inform informational module introducing the Healthy Course Checklist available to all colleges. We have followed up with appropriate contacts at each college to track implementation successes and challenges and offer the opportunity to help as well as find out 
what our colleges may need to support their efforts. We also continue to develop plans for ongoing training and professional development based on the needs identified across our colleges and within the Colorado Online Project more broadly. Thank you for your interest in this important topic of setting aspirational course design standards to support equitable and learner-centered experiences. If you would like to reach us to share a comment or learn more, please contact us at colearningdesign at cccs.edu.